Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Nice to see you again. I hope you're doing well and enjoying your isolation wherever you are in the world. Um, so most people seem to have a lot of time on their hands at the moment, but they weren't necessarily expecting. I don't, because I work from home anyway, so I'm continuing to do my job. Um, but in the off time, I can't go anywhere, so I'm thinking about rescaping this tank and potentially this tank, which is the office tank you've seen before. And what I want to do is, I've, I've ordered a bunch of rocks um, which will be going in the, the slightly bigger tank, but this tank here, I was thinking of doing a riverscape and one of the things I can do during this lockdown is we're allowed out for a bit of exercise, nip down to the local park and see what we can forage from the river. using our one hour exercise time to take the dogs for a walk and down by the river but we'll collect some of these rocks as well and do a bit of foraging just don't tell anyone on the Facebook place will be on to us so as you can see there the, the river is very plentiful it gives us lots of options for what we can do in terms of rocks and things like that so I picked up a few of them this might be a good time to mention that my merch shop has had a bit of an overhaul. We've got some new products there, some new designs. Uh, the This Sucks and This Blows may be echoing your current feelings about the lockdown. Um, but yeah, there's lots to check out. Currently still shipping as far as I understand and shipping worldwide too. So it's shop.spreadshirt.co.uk slash aquarium adventures. Link in the description. Thank you. Often another question you'll get is, well, what do you do with rocks that you get that you've foraged? How do you test if they're safe for your aquarium? And it's probably worth thinking about, what do we mean by safe for the aquarium? Um, often we're talking about um, whether they have any kind of carbonate content, whether it's carbonate, bicarbonate, whatever it might be, because that will raise the pH of your aquarium. And you might not want that, but conversely, you might want that. So it might be something that you want to add in um, to raise the pH a little if you're struggling to get up there. Um, if it was something that likes slightly um, harder waters, that would be something that you'd be considering, but you want to know. So I've got a few rocks that we've picked up. Um, I've got loads of them. My first job will be to clean them. Um, and when I say clean them, I don't mean boil them. I know this is a controversial issue. It probably won't happen if you boil rocks, but they can explode and What's the point in doing it anyway? There's no point to, you don't need to clean them to that degree. Anything that's on the rocks can be get a good scrub, some hot water, and you don't need anything else. Be perfectly fine after that. And you're not going to endanger yourself. It has happened. Um, people have boiled rocks before, and I bet you the comments will now be full of people saying, I've boiled rocks for years and I'm not dead yet. Yet being the operative word there. So don't be stupid. You don't have to boil them, don't boil them. A good soak, hot water, scrub and brush, give them a clean, leave them in a bucket outside for a couple of days, a couple of weeks, whatever you feel more happy with, and that'll be more than enough. But in terms of testing them as to whether they're good for your aquarium, as I found these in a river, I'm expecting most of them should be perfectly fine in an aquarium, but not always. So if you've researched this before, you'll no doubt have heard people say, well, you need to get yourself some vinegar. And that's how you test for um, safety for your rocks for your aquarium. And that's fine. Yeah, that is true. And again, what we're testing for is any kind of calcium carbonate, bicarbonate, whatever it might be. And you're looking for something to cause a reaction to that. So it's acid. Acid is what we want. So vinegar is a weak acid. Um, and this is by no means my tip, but a tip that I found a while ago. I found it on someone's video. I'm really sorry I can't find it. If anyone does know what it is, feel free to link to that person. I'm not trying to steal their idea. I just can't find it again and I'm not sure what it was. But the nitrate test from an API kit, that is actually quite a strong acid. And that will give you a better reaction on some rocks. So let's have a look at what the rocks that I've got below and see how we get on with these tests. So I've got a couple of rocks here. This is one that I found by the river because I've actually gone ahead and pre-tested and I can't find any that react. Uh, and this is one that we have from other sources. It's actually, I don't know if you can tell that, it's a fossil there, it's an ammonite there. Anyway, I digress. So if I use vinegar first, 
um, all vinegar should work for this but essentially what you want to do in any case is put a few drops on there and what you're looking for is bubbles essentially or some kind of reaction to come from this and if I put it on both you might not be able to see it but this one is actually sending out very tiny bubbles but it's barely noticeable if I for however use the nitrate kit give it a good shake just because it's out of habit uh, put a drop on there nothing if I put a drop here that almost instantly starts bubbling and goes a very different colour now you can see if I'd used vinegar as the test for this I would have probably passed that and said yep completely safe it's not going to make any difference look at that I'll see if I can zoom in a little bit on that one for you not without destroying my everything but as you can see that's bubbling away quite fiercely and that's something that you would have put in your aquarium no problem just doing the vinegar test to be fair it probably would be completely fine um, but that just shows you this why it's quite a good tip to use your nitrate test as or any other strong acid really uh, when you're doing this sort of thing so it will give you a really quick really instant cheap way of figuring out what's good for your aquarium so there you go I've no idea if it's still Tuesday so this might be a quick tip Tuesday or it might be any other day I've got no idea what's going on anymore with the lockdown so at least I know that I'm sorted for supplies so I can go through and do my next step of making sure all my rocks are all washed I can give them all a quick test because the tiniest drop of this will actually indicate really well and make sure that I'm not putting anything in my aquarium that's going to alter the parameters after a while if you are unsure after this the best way to do it is just to put all the rocks in a big bucket uh, and leave it full of water, leave it for a week, keep measuring the pH of it and if it changes or alters anyway then you know you've got something going on there and that's really quite a foolproof way of making sure that you're keeping everything safe. So I know I've got some supplies now, I can get my uh, aquascaping tools out and get ready again, change things around in this tank, uh, maybe in this tank as well once we get the, the big rocks in can't really do anything with fish yet because I'm not finding any way to buy any new fish because it's not really an essential service while we're in this lockdown situation uh, but we can plan and that's the best we can do anyway let me know how you're getting on with your fish keeping habits down in the comments what's new what's changed what's different what are you missing during the, the lockdown in these crazy times as always, uh, click that subscribe button if you haven't already, and if you have, thank you very much. And we'll get some new videos out soon, and we'll see you then. You won't miss them. Cheers, bye. Going a bit stir crazy here, but thought we'd get out of the house and do a bit. <laughs> <coughs> 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 everybody, hey everybody, welcome back. Nice to see you again. Um, Going a bit stir crazy in the whole. <laughs> Fine. So I've got a few rocks here that I've picked up from the riverbank down there. They're your fairly bad standard box. <laughs> so there you are. I've no idea if it's still Tuesday given the, the lockdown. I can't remember what day we're on these more. <laughs> Unfortunately, I'm still working because I can work from home generally, so I'm not getting any time off, but um, yeah, woe is me. Yeah, I hope everyone's keeping safe. Uh, and I will... I hope everyone's keeping safe. Um, as always, make sure you click subscribe. I hope everyone's keeping safe, and as always, click that subscribe button. It really helps me out. Um, we're climbing up towards 8,000 now, so it'd be good to get there. Right. Now, what am I talking about?